Hello, is everyone enjoying their day so far? Ah, that's good to hear. Now allow us to introduce ourselves because I am Dr. Bunsen Honeydew and up there pedaling his heart out is my loyal assistant, Beaker! Yes, that's right, and also with us are our intrepid interns. Let's get a nice big round of applause for Newton and Einstein. Yes. We are from Muppet Labs, where for many years I've created inventions to make everyone's life easier. Isn't that right, Beaker? We've been invited by Mr. Mickey Mouse himself to share some of the groundbreaking work going on at Muppet Labs and to get you excited about Beaker. science. Hey, are you excited about science? Let me hear you! Now to bring the thrill of the lab directly to you, I've invented this most remarkable vehicle. Introducing the Muppet Mobile Lab! That's right! Yes, everybody go. Science fun. All right, Beaker, let's start off with a bang by demonstrating my newest invention. <clears throat> Mankind has always yearned to explore the galaxy, so today we shall attempt to blast a chicken into space. Introducing Space Chicken. All right, Beaker, prepare the chicken launcher. Once it's to Priscilla. And then Priscilla. Are you ready? Over. Of course, we're using Priscilla Beaker. She's our test chicken. Oh, it's safe, Beaker. Remember, I invented it. We'll begin the countdown for this historic launch. When we reach zero, everyone look upward, wave, and then shout out. Bon voyage, Priscilla. Now get ready, everyone, because the headlines will soon read. There is one small step for man, one giant leap for... Oh, Here we go, folks. Say it with me, everyone. Bon voyage, Priscilla. Look at that. She's so high, you can barely see her. Oh, that's funny. Beaker. Forgot to strap the monitoring device onto her. Oh, dear. Come in, Priscilla. Can you hear me? Safe travels, Priscilla. I hear Mars needs chickens. Oh. Quitting or quitting? Quitting? Beaker, I'll miss Priscilla too, but that is no reason to leave Muppet Labs. If you leave, all these people here will be heartbroken. Isn't that right, everyone? Don't you love Beaker and want him to stay? Let's hear you! Do you see that, Beaker? You can never be replaced. That's right. Well, but now it's time to find your replacement. Ah! Now, Beaker's replacement could be any one of you, and since the Muppet Mobile Lab is a top secret prototype, you all must be sworn to secrecy. My soon-to-be-replaced assistant, Beaker, will swear you in. Go ahead, Beaker. Everyone, please raise your right hands. Raise your right hand. repeat after Beaker. Go ahead, Beaky. Beaker. Right, that's enough swearing in front of these children. <laughs> All right, who here thinks they have what it takes to be a future lab assistant for Muppet Labs? Yes, that's right, Beaker. We need someone who is, uh, yes, old enough to sign the legal waiver, of course. We got a grown up here. Hello, there. let's give this brave volunteer a round of applause. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. What is your name? Deborah. Athra. Nice to meet you, Athra. That answer was correct, so we'll give you a point. Very nice. Now, Athra, what uh, what was the most important part of the oath to you? All of it. It was all good. Wait a second, Athra. I remember you now. How could I forget a name like Athra? Folks, you're not going to believe this. Athra and I went to school together. Wow, what a small world, Athra. You ever heard this song before? Anyone who know the words, oh. sing along. It's a small world. All right, that is a catchy tune, Beaker. All right, now, uh, Athra, let's move on to the formalities of the application process. Time for the all important. You see, Athra, a good scientist knows that safety depends on perfect eyesight. If you do not have the ability to observe the most intricate of details, you can cause a dangerous safety hazard. That's why this. 
That's why here at Muppet Labs, our motto is safety first. Isn't that right, Beaker? Now, after I just need you to look at the words on the side of the Muppet Muppet Lab and read out loud what you see. I am so good looking. Yeah, you are, but I do need you to read the words, look at the side of the lab, and read them out loud. I'll give you a different one. Here's one. No, seriously, I am so good looking. If you're just an egos rather than eyesight, you pass with flying colors after. I just need you to get over yourself for one moment and read out loud what you see. Here's something. No. You having trouble reading that? No. You're not having trouble reading that? No. What's it say? Oh, okay. Maybe your eyes need some lubrication. There we go. No. You know, between you and me, you may need to see an eye doctor after us. So, uh, let's give our wet applicant the I round of applause. Thank you so much for helping me. I'll see you at the class reunion after us. Very nice. But that's unfortunate. Unfortunately, we may never find a replacement for Beaker. <laughs> Beaker? Is that you doing that the whole time? You got to have her wet for no reason, you silly, silly Beaker. What's wrong, Beaker? Oh, the day's not over yet. We'll find someone. We should be thinking of happy things. Yeah, like your going away party. Hey! Yes, we should do that. Let's have Beaker's retirement party right now. Are you guys ready for this? Yes, it's safe, Beaker. It's a party. Let's get this instant fun party started. Yes! Hey, Luke Einstein, move those feet. Everyone dance. Kids dance. Grown-ups, raise your hands into the air. Move them all around like you just don't mind. Yes. Everybody dance. Work it, work it. Everybody dance. Now it's time for the fireworks finale. It will be as exciting as New Year's Eve without that unpleasant aftertaste. Here we go, Beaky. Come Beaker. Beaker, what, what are you doing? Beaker, are you sitting on the fireworks launcher? Get away, Beaker. Well, uh, the fireworks may have failed, but at least we know that the fire works. Go to the seas with Bebo and friends. We'll let Beaker soak up in that big old shark tank. Oh, those birds look pretty bad, Beaker. Well, we'll be back later for Beaker's replacement. Remember, it could be any one of you. Also, folks, at the left, we have this one saying it's the girls. Pain is learning. Oh, Beaker, not complaining. It's true, Beaker. You're in the high-risk position. 